Hello everyone, another edition of Your Vote Matters, MTV's election awareness contribution to help give you, the voter, the right information so that you can elect the right people to office. We've been talking to political party leaders on their policies. This time, we have Mr. Justin Chechenko, the deputy leader of the Social Democratic Party, Welcome to the program, Mr. Jachenko. You're Thank also you. the Minister for Housing and Urbanization. Yes. And what I'm saying and what I'm doing now is probably a little bit familiar to you <laughs> because of PNG Gardener, the of things course. you used to do there. Those wonderful Happy Gardener days. <laughs> miss them, actually. I miss that, uh, <laughs> that uh, wonderful time of going around the country, seeing all our culture and, and traditions and our flora and fauna. On behalf of all of us here, at beautiful Ambua Tari, Southern Highlands Province, I wish you all happy gardening. It was a wonderful time of my life, 15 yeah. years, yeah. And you, a horticulturist to a politician. Yeah. How has that been? Well, it's been a, a good transition. I still do a bit of gardening now and then just okay. to relax the mind. Uh -huh. But uh, being a politician has been very rewarding, especially with the ministries that I've had and the work that I do in the electorate. Uh, you, we've transformed Moresby South uh, to one of the best districts uh, in this country. And um, working with other like-minded people like our governor and party leader of Social Democratic Party, Paulus Pakop, <laughs> it's made it so much easier and rewarding at the end of the day. Okay, well, we'll go, um, we'll talk more about your district, Mosby South, a little later in the show. Yep. But let's, first of all, and you're the deputy leader of the Social Democratic Party, and uh, the leader is the Honorable Paul Spako. You've had your convention, you've gone through your list of candidates that want to stand with you. Correct. Quite a number of them. Yeah, over 40 plus uh, candidates were officially announced uh, the other day throughout the whole of uh, Papua New Guinea. And uh, that was uh, quite a task by all the executives uh, of uh, Social Democratic Party to choose yes. from, I think, over 600 that applied. Wow. Um, but uh, there's also a group of uh, pro supporters uh, that are candidates that are also supporting the Social Democratic Party in their uh, endeavours to uh, help yeah, form government yeah. and uh, get the numbers uh, in the coming months ahead. Yeah, okay, but it's the biggest number the party will have ever had, I think. Yeah, since. it's been very well organised uh, this time and there's been a lot of emphasis uh, from our uh, leader, Paulus Pakop, to look at uh, making sure we had the right candidates and the right uh, people to help form government and uh, make a change and sure. make a difference into the future. We have also two very prominent uh, women candidates, one for Alatau Open, and uh, the famous uh, Dorothy Tekwe. Yeah, of is, West, uh, Britain, West yeah, Sipic. West Sipic, yeah, who is... Sundown uh, province. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, she's uh, really going well uh, in her electorate uh, to be the next governor. So uh, we're really backing her and wishing her well. She gets across the line. Okay. Well, when you say you had to screen them and you go for the best candidates, what are the best candidates? Who are the best candidates? Well, it comes, it comes down to experience. Okay. It comes down to experience, knowledge, education, um, the way that they have conducted themselves in their, where they come in from. Their, in their lives. Yeah, and in their lives and making sure we have good, solid um, people that will do the right thing uh, for the next five years, not only for their electorate, but also for the country. Yes. Honest, non-corruptible people. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. They'll be number one priority. And uh, looking at uh, where they've come from, what they've done, we've got some uh, very intelligent and uh, um, prominent uh, Papua New Guineans that will be taking a stand now uh, for the elections. Okay, okay. Mm. Of the two ladies that you eventually agreed to endorse to run under the party ticket, you had so many of them. You had 50, 60 uh, vying to be nominated by you. Mm. Look, um, the process is uh, an independent process and, and it comes down once again to the person's uh, ability. Um, the female candidate for uh, uh, Alatel has been in the government system at the ward level um, and at the, D at the DSIP level with uh, the former 
uh, well, former member of Alatau now is going to the elections, uh, Charles Abel. So okay. she's had a lot of experience in that area and been on the ground and with the people. So it makes it a lot easier when you have someone that has that knowledge and understanding to move forward and also to address the people's issues. Okay. Well, one would have thought that she might team up with Charles Abel. Uh, but comes to you. Yeah, well, that's. I think uh, she must be attracted to Powers' uh, policies and okay. his leadership and what we've done together as a team uh, in the capital city uh, and shows what can be achieved when we work well together. Okay. All right. Yeah, as I said, capital city and what uh, the governor is doing and what you are doing a little later on. But the party and its platform, its policies, you... You're looking at the economy more so than, uh, I guess, that leads in your pillar of policies. Talk about that. Yeah, well, I think for the party it's all about um, the economy, it's about infrastructure development, it's about people in power, um, empowerment, it's mm -hmm. about gender equality, yeah. um, it's about taking our people to another level, giving them an opportunity that they would never get. Okay. And uh, putting our people first, I think, is uh, is the number one. Don't leave them behind. We make it happen. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and another of that is um, tax incentives, income, personal income tax. Your party is, uh, uh, you know, looking at a new, different threshold for tax. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a new idea that uh, can uh, make a difference in the people's pockets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, give them uh, a bit more money to spend and allow them to have a, a bit more freedom in that regard. No one likes paying taxes. Taxes are a, always a dreaded situation when it comes to anything. But they have to be. It they have to, to be to uh, pay the bills yes, and keep yes. the country going. So, uh, But uh, always having uh, different ideas and different concepts and, and getting the people's thoughts on that is good. Okay, okay. And what other aspects or what are the components of the economy would you like to, uh, is the party really uh, championing or promoting uh, uh, industries, the resource sectors, the sustainable and the extractive? I, I think uh, at the end of the day we need to get a lot of these big industries and big projects going to boost our economy, supporting those big industries which create employment, then they pay taxes and help the economy. So supporting big projects, big industries is very, very important uh, to continue our country moving forward and building up our country where it supports the SMEs and others uh, down the track when these projects uh, get initiated. You look at how when Exxon first started, it really was a fantastic result where the country's uh, economy boomed in that eight years of uh, construction and, uh, start and getting that actually started and now moving forward. So more of those sort of projects to uh, enhance the country's economic uh, stability is, is a, a preference. Next, on Your Vote Matters. We've always looked forward to support the government of the day, whether it's a coalition, uh, which is highly likely, 